The Josh Pod is back to give you brand new episodes for the brand new year. And today, we're going to be talking about all the changes coming to Disneyland that you can look forward to this year. If Disneyland, in fact, reopens this year. So look forward to that on this controversial episode of The Josh Pod. Welcome to the Josh Pod. I am your host, Josh Simonji. Uh, thanks again for watching, and let's begin this episode by reading your comments. I have two comments today. The first one is from our Josh Pod number 22, uh, movie theaters are shutting down, question mark? This is from Mr. Tuffy, and he says, hey, I used to work in those. And then he does a little smiley face. Yeah, obviously he's not working at a movie theater um, because all well, the movie theaters are shut down still, at the time of this video at least, so. Sorry about that, Mr. Tuffy. Our final comment of the day is from Jude, and he says, commenting on that same video, he says, Tostitos Hint of Lime Chips slap. They do, in fact, slap. If you guys want me to read your comments, just comment down below right now. I'll pretty much read anything as long as it's not, you know, inappropriate or racist or something. But speaking of racism, do you guys remember back in the day a place you could go and visit called Disneyland? Remember the fun rides like Pirates of the Caribbean or Splash Mountain or even Jungle Cruise? And do you know what all three of those rides have in common? They're all racist. Well, except for Pirates of the Caribbean, as technically sexist. Allegedly. Disney has announced recently that they'll be changing the Jungle Cruise experience due to concerns and complaints that they've been getting about Jungle Cruise being racist. Obviously, we're still living in a pandemic because people don't have anything to do right now, so they're going onto the internet, spitting out random claims, and just being bored and, you know, trying to just cancel everything. Happy New Year, everybody. According to the LA Times, or what I like to call the Law Times, it states, quote, the Walt Disney Company announced that it's embarking on what many view as a long overdue course correction for the Jungle Cruise. See all the cruise puns that they're doing? Oh, kill me. And I doubt it's many complaints. It's probably like one super vocal Karen or maybe even two vocal Karens. Like you could call it the Clash of the Karens or something. Ooh, write that down, make it into a t-shirt. The article continues stating that Disney wants to make some changes to the ride so it feels, quote, more inclusive and less racially insensitive in its depiction of other cultures. So what exactly is racist and controversial about this ride? Well, let's jump on a cruise ship ourselves and sail down the jungle stream thing and check out what these soft-headed ninny muggins really thought was like so controversial. Okay, so part one of this idiotic journey involves the rhino scene of the ride. As you can see from this footage, there are a majority of black men on this totem pole, where a land-owning white male is on top of the totem pole. The pearl clutchers of the world state that the scene is racist due to the black people being on the bottom where the danger is and the white man being on top. I don't think I thought of race once while watching this scene, um, while on the ride, but I may have said something like, oh, that's racist, like as a joke, like the black people being on the bottom and the white guy on top. But again, it was a joke, and Disney probably heard me saying it on their ride, and then made the changes. Damn it, Disney listens to everything that I do. Anyway, they plan on changing some of the animatronics to have some old white guy on the bottom. But if you enjoy some delicious irony served with a side of hypocrisy, you will see that in this concept art that they just came out with, all the black men from the original scene have been taken away and replaced by the evil white man. Surely Disney noticed this, right? And they're just like, oh wait, let's combat racism by getting rid of all the black people. Moving on to part two of this stupid story, some people don't like that the native tribes are portrayed as savages. They have hunting parties, sell severed heads, and apparently do the hokey pokey around a campfire. Now that I'm saying it out loud, that part was a little racist. <laughs> So these woke Karens are complaining that the indigenous people need to be respected and not treated like animals. They need to go to school and teach the world about racism. Bunch of fun suckers, I tell ya. If anything, you could look at these tribal warriors with respect because they are, in fact, warriors. They are hunters, they like to party, and of course, they like to scam the white men by doing the scam, you know, two heads for the price of yours or whatever. But no, Disney wants to make this a teachable moment and force this stuff on you and your kids as you already clench your cheeks with embarrassment to the bad jokes already. Now you have to clench your cheeks even harder as you're getting this woke speech told to you. So in the end, what could Disney do to fix this mess? Well, luckily for Disney, they have a new Jungle Cruise movie that's coming out that looks like horse <laughs> But hey, maybe they could use some of those elements from the movie into the new ride itself. Unless the movie itself is in fact, racist. 
What do you guys think? Did you find Jungle Cruise to be super racist when you were writing it years and years and years and years ago? Or maybe, just maybe, you're kind of excited for the new changes because it is a really old ride. I mean, it did come out years and years and years and years ago. So maybe it's time for a facelift. Comment down below and tell me what you think. Oh, and by the way, if you are a pearl clutching Karen, I don't want to hear your comment. You can go pound sand, pound sand for all I care. But speaking of pearl clutching, the Josh Pod. Thanks again for watching and listening to the Josh Pod. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave us a like and tell your friends about us. If you're on the go, you can listen to the audio only version of this podcast on uh, Google and Apple Podcasts, Sound, not SoundCloud, we don't do SoundCloud anymore iHeartRadio app and Spotify actually. So that's pretty cool. And another fun fact, we have our own feed. So all you need to do is on your uh, podcast provider of choice, just search the Josh pod and you'll have all the episodes we have ever done of the Josh pod. So get binging if you're into that kind of thing and call me out for all the predictions I've made that haven't come true yet or don't. I would really appreciate it if you didn't. So yeah, do that. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys next time here. I'm the Josh Vaughn.